Hello, hello, welcome everybody. How are you doing? Top secret, is this PD2? No, it is something completely different. Namespace, hello, hello. Herro, herro. Shinui, what's up? How are you doing? Hey Jake, this game was on your Steam wish list for a while. Wow, that's actually a really good game, so I highly recommend it. So guys, today something completely different and new. I have to admit I'm nervous. So few things already and that I will need your help. So if you can tell me about the sounds, I will get into the game now. And um, for some reason, it doesn't capture the sound when it's uh, when I'm not focused on the window. So Diablo 4 beta, yes, yes. All right. Is this new Diablo? Exactly. Yep, Bastion is a GG game. All righty. So let me do one thing really quick. Right, I think I just need to change the composition on my table a little bit on my desk. Right, I think I'm I'm good. I'm good. Oh, Overwatch, Bastion, you know him. <laughs> look, look, how many trolls. Oh yeah, and uh, one one more thing, just to make sure that uh, that uh, we have we have this in place. Um, I did not quit Diablo 2. This is a Christmas var variety variety games. Woohoo! <laughs> Now we pin this message so that every person coming into the stream doesn't ask me this question. Excuses because of another game? Dang! <laughs> What's up, Satis? How are you doing? Mm. All right, so guys, please, I will need some uh, your feedback on the game sounds because um, I didn't know honestly how to really um, do it because as soon as I go and check on the software uh, the loudness of everything well there is no sound so <laughs> so yeah but at the moment I think yeah all of this is good maybe music volume a little bit less probably so not to be too crazy narration volume I typically keep really high because otherwise you might just not hear there is a ton of narration in this game uh, so it, and it's very crucial part I think to the atmosphere so subtitles will be still on in case you cannot really listen to it or cannot you know can only watch vibration um, yes and I was wondering if effects volume may be a little bit less but okay let's start with this and let's see how, how it goes. So, of course, let me tell you a little bit. Bastion. What is Bastion? Those colors, those shapes, it must be Bastion. So this is the first game of the Super Giant Games Studio. They are indie studio, indie developers. They are the most famous for releasing Hades. And recently Hades 2 has been announced. So this is something that they started with. Back then they were, I think, seven people uh, by the end of this project and they successfully released it with, I think, the help of publishing uh, Warner Brothers or something like this. So... So yeah, this is basically... Who wore the D? Ah! <laughs> Only that, hello. I was a little bit confused which language did you start with. So yeah, this was their first game. This is really fantastic action adventure game with a little bit of the role-playing elements, with like developing a little bit of your character, but really sleek and smooth combat. Amazing story, very nice graphics and just uh, replayability. A lot of things here, really, really good. So I highly recommend it to everybody. And yeah, okay, so if you speak normal, the music can be a bit quieter. All right, let's, uh, let's do it, yeah, because music 
even if it's very good, it might be uh, yeah a little bit uh, a little bit too much. Should add atmosphere and not uh, destroy it. Let's try it like this. So yeah, once again, for everybody who doesn't know, this is a really fantastic game. I obviously played it through multiple times. I think first time it was for me like year 2012 or something like this. Yes, Alexa, this is a, this is a really good one. This is a really good game. Uh, absolutely. I played it through first time and I think in 2012. I have no idea how it appeared on my computer, on my PC back then, um, but it appeared somehow, so maybe, I don't know what happened there, but I remember playing it through. Then I also beat it uh, about two years ago as well, because I started to play all their games, all the Super Giant games. games. Uh, and yeah, there are different modes, so normal mode, no sweat mode. Start a new game with unlimited chances to carry on if defeated for less experienced players of all ages. Well, that's me, but I will try to do something a little bit... Still will try to do <laughs> normal mode. Super Giant and From Software, the top two. Nice, good to hear it. Good to hear it. Yeah, those are definitely very good, uh, good companies produce games very I think they both are very gameplay focused and if the gameplay is good then in most cases everything else will be carried on but all right I think we are ready I think we are ready FromSoft do all the Soulsborne games Dark Souls Bloodborne and so on yeah Elden Ring Making very different games, yes. Uh, all right. All right, let's start. Normal game. Are you sure you wish to start a new game? Your existing game will be lost. Well, all right. I guess I can do that. Proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. Alright, here we are. The kid. He gets up. He gets sets up. off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. In case of trouble, go to bastion. Ground forms up under his feet as if pointing the way. He don't stop to wonder why. All right, so the world is Finds building his in front of us the calamity. Just lying in the road. Lifelong friend, Kale Hammer. Let's well, go, it's baby. A touching reunion. Touching reunion. <laughs> I love this. It's one of my favorite things they say. What a touching reunion with a hammer. So yeah, we can. What can we do? We can roll, of course. Any adventure game, any hack and slash action without rolling nowadays impossible. Although this game is from 2011, so he sees you what's can left of the more than 10 years ago. Years of work undone in an instant in the calamity. All right, so the world seems to be has been destroyed in the calamity, and this is what we see the remainings of it. All right. All right. All right. Let's see. That a survivor. No, ma'am. It's a gas fella, forced out from underground. Gas fella. All right, we can dodge the attacks. Right. We can also get heat. Good. Fella got a piece of him though. It still looks so good. I agree, absolutely. Like there is. It's just there is something like when you strive for realism in graphics then they can age really bad when you do it sprite cartoony and Kid like just different style for a while. then it still remains very good regardless of the time that's why i also feel like a lot of uh, games from 8-bit 16-bit 32-bit games that they all actually preserve pretty well also i don't know if you noticed but 
I really like how the narrator reacts to what we do, like we were crushing things. He said that Kid just An rages for a while. An old falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Okay, so we seem to find another weapon. Let's check it out. Got a holder still to spin up the chamber. Okay, some kind of really fast crossbow. Punk Reaper, I think it's called. Also, what's important, we should be really careful not to fall down to the, like, outside of the things, because then, of course, if we lose some health and we can die, our health is on top of here. The experience which is almost not existing. And we also pick up some kind of whatever currency. Well, well, you guys will see what is it later on. Kids right. worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. So juicy, such a great voice, great voiceover. Yeah, I think that was really great. They did it really well also in the second game in Transistor. Uh, but then in Pyre they went to a little bit more um, slow-paced story. Kid finds a memento from a girl he knew. Always used to fancy her. And the guy who narrates it is a uh, Logan Cunningham. He actually... Like, I'm not sure if you know, but uh, he won the narr like the best narration, the best voiceover uh, award for Hades in that year, in 2021, I think it was, for 2020. So yeah, but I think the narration also makes it uh, a little bit must have fled hard for mines. like certain way of experiencing the game. So you have to be very focused. So for example for streams or like for a lot of people it could be a little bit easier to consume the story, not to miss anything through maybe a blend of narration or not. Sometimes you just need a drink. That's true. Sometimes you just need a drink. Health tonics. Alright. It's a wonder the old saloon still standing. I agree, nice I agree, Sassy McGee, absolutely. I do like Pyre, but I also understand why it's not as he big. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking did. So now as we had quite a few like narrations and quite a few things happening, a little bit of combat, is the sound okay? Uh, should I maybe make something shield. bigger, uh, louder? What do you say? Ooh. Another of our friends, Boo Hat Shield. All right, but just as he's getting a handle on it, the security takes him for a petty thief. Clang! Shield saves his hide. Clang! Nothing good will come out of those, I'm pretty sure. Windbags start turning up for last call. Now the action begins. Mode, yes. More squirts start coming out. Hey, Tryon. Hello. How are you doing? So once again, everybody, welcome. A Today is a uh, variety stream. Christmas is soon. I promised some variety games. There will be some cool ones. So get ready for this. We can also counter block the attacks actually if we do it in the right moment. You see, they're getting crushed. It sees the way so to the that's another mechanic the that is here. It's a bit of a drop. You think sound is pretty good? All right, sweet. That's good. One thing we forgot to check: the we have our backpack where we can look at things. So the crystal barrette that we just found outside, a memento, a fashion accessory covered in suit. Is it suit? I don't know what suit to be honest. 
holds great value of the sentimental variety, also holds hair firmly in check. Best hang on to it, just in case. And the city crest, what is it? Also memento, so like some memorial item, I guess. Identification badge from the old days. All those in official business for city bear the star of Kailandia. It is said to represent warmth, labor, and sacrifice. Right. So we'll find a few things along the way. Also, when our health full and we pick up more of those uh, health potions, we get extra experience. Rondi always wanted his ashes scattered here. Poor Rondi. He was the owner of this saloon. Alright, let's get outside. He gets a good look at things on his way down. You're back to search what to play he after they cancel the Breaker's real bow, tournament? And it ain't broke. Breaker's Bow. Another ranged weapon. So here in the game we will actually have a lot of different weapons and I will try to play something that I didn't play. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. One long before the kid could loose an arrow, shot. strong and true. Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. He knows he should draw the string all Oops. the way back. Right back at bam. you. And another one, bam. Ooh, what is this? Something The stringy. kid pockets a memento from a breaker. Once the fastest man in the land. An upgrade material for the breaker's bow. A stretch of me's gun prized by bowlers and pelbo fans. One more reason for the popularity of me's hunting. Who are me's? I don't know. <laughs> but it's okay. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is the aiming for the kid. Bam. I feel a bit rusty, especially on the stream. <laughs> oh, what's this? This is Bastion. This is the first Except game of the a Super Giant Game Studio. Super Giant Game Studio. He's a mighty fast. There player. is also a whirlwind build here. It's from 2011. It's an action adventure game with some elements of RPG. Uh, overall, absolutely amazing game. Really, really nice. And what did we do? We have anything else? No. We have our health. We have our health potions. Some. Uh, whatever they're called, like special tonics, I don't remember their name exactly, and we have different attacks, the melee weapon, the ranged weapon, we already have two ranged weapons, but only one melee, we have you shield, the distillery right next to the arsenal, tough part of town, one there is sip an of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid will feel like a new man. One sip from distillery and you feel like a new man. Exactly. <laughs> okay, squirt cider, cider. 10 to max health. Fermented squirt extract with a nose of stale bread and ocean water. Very nutritious. Hey Furious, hello to you as well. Dread rum. Dread rum. 10% to critical hit chance. Note, active only when at full health. Well, this is probably not going to happen that much. <laughs> Pungent concoction, concoction that calms senses and steadies nerves. Favored by the breakers and other fighting forces. And the fetching fees. Absorb stray fragments. Started as a barroom prank but evolved to become popular with miners and scrap workers. Metallic aftertaste. Alright, I'm gonna check this one. I think that's one the most useful in the beginning to get as many fragments as possible and uh, those fragments it doesn't show how many we have them but when we kill something or break something yeah those 243 they are used to upgrade items and to buy some other things Zulf theme yeah the arsenals where the kid can pick the best tools for the job 
Music is absolutely great, I agree. So what do we have? We can actually have two ranged weapons if we want to, but I don't like it so much. So we're gonna use a uh, hammer. And honestly, I don't like the fang repeater. <laughs> Ammunition chamber fashioned from an unlucky beast gives a distinct silhouette to these silent repeating rifles, once favored by Ura hunters. Kale hammer, well balanced melee weapon. Stationary attacks with, with it are more powerful. Heavy duty hammers such as these const constructed Kailondi as famous rippling walls and protected them from elements and foes alike. And a breaker's bow? Attack power increases as the bowstring is drawn. Right, so in the end there is a little flash that we can make a power shot with this. With this durable lightweight bow, Skylontium Breaker Divisions reconnoit... What? <laughs> reconnoiter it, the farthest reaches of the land in the name of their city. Damn it, it's always harder to read on stream than in real life without it. Right, I will also keep the bow for now, and let's see what do we have. We have a dancing shot as a special attack. A secret breaker technique that causes an arrow to bounce from target to target. Originally intended only for spectacle, but it proved to have practical uses. And requires one black tonic per use. Then we have, we have Whirlwind. Right, following the Diablo 2 Season 2 theme, Whirlwind Barbarian. <laughs> a furious spinning strike that can damage multiple foes, originally developed by the city masons wrecking teams, right. And this bolt burst, that's for the fang repeater skill, a spiral of bolts that deals damage in every direction. Trappers would rely on this technique in the event they got surrounded. Alright, but we good with this one, yep. Cool. Okay, we need to continue. So for now, for everybody who is a little bit late, we got found ourselves just at some point uh, completely strained on a piece of land without anything around. Then we found our hammer, some of them found a couple of other things, like crazy in and we are just coordinates. walking where the land is trying. So apparently there was a calamity that destroyed everything in this world, and we need to figure out what happens. The only thing we know is that there is a place, Bastion, where it's typically people go when something bad supposed to happen. So this is where we're trying to get. So I guess it makes sense to kill that thing first. And then we'll see how the story unfolds here. Maud, the tutor. Once taught the kid good manners. He never used them, though. Right, all those people did not survive the calamity. We can destroy things, we can roll, we can also use shield to block attacks. We have stronger attack when we stay. This is a gas fella. Ferry barge sends the kid on his way. The bastion's real close now. Oops. Damn it. When you play only Diablo 2, you forget how to play other games, but we will learn. <laughs> Alright, right. something it takes heavy. a chunk of alloy. Something heavy, an upgrade material for Kale Hammer, a chunk of precious alloy found deep underground. A step of diet of his fellas also used in all manner of industry. Smell of barley and spoiled blueberries oh, fills the something air. Something is happening. Scumbags. 
come back. Kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. <laughs> no. Oh shit. Our first boss fight, I guess. Alright, this one is down. Uh, no second one. Okay. Can also get into this. Whirlwind is usually doesn't deal much damage. Nothing surprising over here. <laughs> Level two, nice. Let's pick up everything. Happens to the best of us, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's pick up more of those pieces. 450, nice. Here, a few more. Okay, what's next? The core to the wharf district. Ooh. He steals the city's heart. Might as well. Kid has a feeling you better get a move on. The place is Experience. starting to fall. Let's grab as much experience as we can here. Breaking down. See that core kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. Shoot. Kid just keeps running. Uh oh. <laughs> Down no <laughs> down toward the bastion. I fell. <laughs> now the kid sees something stranger still. No races. That was so bad. Jesus Christ. F Did anybody F. else I fell survive? down? I never fell down there. I didn't even know sure that enough, it will bring me he finds another. right here. He finds me. Ooh. Is this the guy who talks to us, the stranger? We talk for a spell. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest. Enough to point the way to the cores. All I tell him is to set that core is on the monument there. Then watch. So did we find the Bastion? Is it this place? I try to let the kid down gently. This is the Bastion, all right. Said no one else showed up. <laughs> right. Okay. So I guess we need to revive this place. Let's put the core that we found right into the monument and see what happened. And just like that, the bastion comes alive. Starts growing again. Growing stronger. Kids gotta put its power to good use. Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Nice. All right, we started the Phoenix Foundation. Us what to build. We can actually build something, distillery. Plans for a facility whose specially brewed spirits enhance one's natural abilities. Just need a place to build it. The only spirits permitted on the rippling walls were of a kind that increased productivity. Plans for a facility, arsenal that stores weapons and secret skills. Kyolontian pioneers always traveled blind, locking up anything they didn't need on hand. Alright. So, yeah, I guess I'll take the distillery. I'm fine with my weapons so far. Makes Let's time to sample anything. spirits from my personal supply. Alright, so that dude over there has some extra spirits. Let's check it out. Also, every level we gain access to another one to one more slot. Hearty punch. 
plus 1% chance to carry on if defeated. Damage surrounding foes if defeated. Aromatic beverage served piping hot. According to folk tales, it can almost wake the dead. Were whiskey. I would have tried this actually. <laughs> 100% critical heat chance and only active when below 33% health. I I don't think I like to play with uh, with low health. Never. Scentless yet very brisk beverage of boiled rattletail whisker used to revive patients in triage centers. Cinder bricks out. This is something that happens in Project Diablo 2 very often, I think, the cinder brick. Where is my were whiskey? Yep. 33% <laughs> speed while defending, spicy, nutty flavors and the dry aftertaste. Very heavy and filling. And we had also Dread Drum and Squared Cider. I think 10 max health doesn't do much really. Uh, this one is probably not good as well because I'm not going to keep maximum health very often. I guess I will go with this Cinder Brick Stout. Let's go with this one. Cinder Brick Stout sure goes down smooth, then stays in your gut like a rock. Stays in your gut like a rock. Sounds exciting. Okay. Okay. Do we have anything here? We have two things to improve our weapons, but that will happen later, I guess. And have more places for things. Ooh, also a big view. All right. Kid don't know what's out there waiting for him. The skyway. Out. Now the kid can ride the wind to distant lands. So this is the map of the game. You can imagine it's quite big. And now we can travel from Bastion to further locations. So we have the Workman Ward, core detected. Find it and bring it back. So we need to find cores apparently. There may be useful supplies here as well, okay. And the Breaker's Barrack, Breaker Barracks, Proving Grounds, okay, so that's kind of a challenge. Here the Breakers want to hone their skill and focus with their bows. Alright, let's go get one more core so we can build Arsenal, I guess, and then uh, we will try this. The Workman Ward, them windbags used to keep the city humming along here. Let's fly there. <coughs> yeah, spirits in the distillery. Now he lands at the intersection bombs. between bad and wrong. There ought to be a core down landing. one of these twisted streets. But which one? Hmm? He heads for the east side, where windbags used to keep the local forge. Somehow that old forge is still standing. Bam. Alright, let's check out the side first. What's that? Forge. Hmm. Alright, nothing else here. Let's check it out. Inside the forge, Kay can fine-tune those instruments of his. Hmm. Okay, so actually we can improve here the the weapons. We have the materials, so we can select the upgrade. On the hammer, we can have 50% damage or 10% critical hit chance. I guess we go with a damage. Kids' lifelong friends looking fit to keep on fighting. We can also upgrade this one. 25% draw speed. More target penetrations per shot. Nah, let's With do a good that. length of Mies gun, that bow's like new again. Okay, so as you can see, we have upgrades for every every weapon. Seems like up to three of them, maybe more. The core ain't here neither, so he's gotta guess again. Anything here? Ooh, Odd place to find the likes of Percy the Snitch. Percy the Snitch. Bam. Never much cared for that big wide grin of his. Mm. 
Bam. Who are you? Nice. Massive damage. And we still, this is still kind of the tutorial level, so you can see that we find yes, the biggest fountains. dump in town. Scumbag Alley. Some scumbag still feeding off the city's own trash. And there he is. The oldest scumbag of them all. Gershaw. Okay, and this one is not easy. The calamity ain't done much for Gershaw's sunny disposition. They always said old nice. Gershaw wouldn't go without a fight. Let's break everything. We find more pieces. The rest of the path is gone just for good. Everything. And his city crest won't bring it back. Alright, seems like with the calamity, everything is destroyed and only no some core. bits and pieces. No surprise. Like the gas fellas are hiding it from him. Only bits and pieces he can heads be used for the scored steps. Won't be no field trip this time. Uh, so many of them. Yikes. Let's heal up again. Bam. Ooh. Come on. Come back and digest just, just about anything. Except for this. It's quick for slicing and light enough to throw. Ooh, super fast attack speed. Right. And you can also throw it right. Nice. Uh, why are you so big? Don't fall down, please. But it has no damage. <laughs> That's truly an experience of playing me the character in Diablo. They say even the most rambunctious squirts can be tamed. No sign of the core here. At least the kid got something for his trouble. Well, we did find something good. New weapon and new super skill. What was it? Blur Squirt? Alright, we'll check it out next time. Bam! Alright, let's go. I think the last... No! Alright, I think squirts the last... Just thing. don't know when to quit. Holy moly. Squirts don't make the best of friends, but they can be useful in a pinch. <laughs> That's a cute one. <laughs> With little hearts on top of it. Really nice. Did you do had a weird update? Yes. Ooh, and more here again. Okay, that's an extra experience. Yes, Dwarf Star. Arguably made it better. That upgrade. It's Bastion. Fantastic game. No, I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> oh shoot. They are everywhere. Eh, take it squirt. Very good. Thank you. No white gas fellas all dress alike. You have to sleep. Kids will learn the same Take thing. Care. What do we pick up? The ragged hood. Also a memento, a soiled garment like the gas fellas wear. Gas fellas used to tend the mines, but now are storming the remains of Kailondia. Alarming numbers. But for what? Right, I see, I see. So they used to work on the mines, those dudes, with hammers. And now they are just everywhere after the calamity. And there it is, 
but is locked down tight in an alloy cage. And a blustery uh -oh. old foreman is keeping his fellas in what check, is this almost like his showboat for the crowd. <laughs> What's happening? Holy moly, what is this? And now Slice there's a new marshal in town. Okay, new marshal in town. That's me, that's me by the way. Where's my core? He has the whole place grown, but it's too tough to fall. Kid's ready to go, and his ticket out's right where he started. Let's go back. We found the core, so now we can build something new. He comes back, just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack. The monument's calling for it. What do you want to say? Alright, let's ask him about the rank. The windbags used to be alright. Then the calamity took the floor out from under him. So they used to be part of society somehow, Ain't right? always much to say. Okay, let's place it. Kid does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. Okay. I can decide, yes. Arsenal, of course. Mirror shield available. Okay, let's check first. What do they say about Forge? That's a facility that transmutes scavenged materials into weapon upgrades. The old Forge from the Workman Ward was the model for many others found in Kyalontia, right? Sounds good. The Bastion's a place of peace, but we can hold our own if we have to. Machete! Machete, machete, machete. No, let's keep the hammer. Mirror Shield, that's a new one. A secret technique that automatically counter blocks all oncoming attacks for a short time. Made famous in a spectacular showing in the Bullhead Court. And a squirt love? A special call that summons a loyal squirt companion to the rescue. Popular children's birthday parties useful in various other situations, right? Okay. Um not sure what I wanna use. I don't typically use real wind, but yeah, I guess. Ain't much kid can handle with hammer and bow in hand. Anything new here? Fetching fizz is like a mouthful of nails, but the benefits are worth it. Right, that was the first one. The fetching fizz. Alright, I guess we can continue. See where we can go next. Picked up traces of other cores while the kid was out. Weirdly whirl, yes. So there are other traces of the core here in a melting pot or in a sundown path. Well, let us try the Proving Grounds first. The Breaker Barracks. Many straight shooters learn their way here. Let's check it out. What is it? Release an arrow the Breakers just at the used right to come here for target practice. Used to play a little game. See who could bust the most targets in the fewest shots. Right. Okay, I see. Clear all targets in a few shots. Uh -huh. He's focused, he's armed, and he's off. And then we have some prizes, okay. One, two, three, four, five, something like this. All right, let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. A perfect shot just happens in a flash. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> now finally one, one perfect shot. Too early. Just in time. Too late. That's all the right solid performance. Second prize, okay. How do we get the first prize? Five shots or fewer? Hmm. Something stringy, that's the braid for the ball. And this something fancy. 
mat upgrade material for a certain weapon, a clockwork organizer once used for work and recreation. These springs and sprockets could be put to better use. All right. Uh, let's try it again. Let's Kid ain't had enough maybe. of the breakers' barracks. Ain't had enough of the breakers' barracks. Nope. Might need more damage. Yeah, could be. Uh, but I also want to check if if I can uh, break it with one perfect shot. Then. Uh, Takes practice. Yeah, and you see. Strong so I need to. I need too. to do <laughs> five power shots in a row. Wow. Two. <laughs> Three. No. <laughs> Fuck. F. F. Almost. Almost. <laughs> Alright, let, let's try it. Let's try it. With more damage, everyone can do it, right? But the true skill is honed in these kind of practices. A Fatty, this game this game brings you tears of nostalgia, absolutely. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Alright. <laughs> My fingers are too cold for this precision. Alright, let's let's give it a couple of more tries. I don't want to, to die hard here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where are pro gamer skills? <laughs> Right, right. Pro gamer. Man, why is it so quick? <laughs> How? That is so quick. Jesus. My fingers are super cold for some reason. Maybe because it's cold. <laughs> this is harder than Diablo clone in Diablo. No, how? Last time it did it. <laughs> what the hell is that? It was during the flash, it was a power shot, but it didn't die. <laughs> Holy moly. For 10 minutes or so? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so we also should not release it too early. It should be just in time. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Let's uh, hear the wise words from Pan and practice the power shot. somehow works we need five power shots perfect in a row in order to get the first prize can we do it One. <laughs> okay okay Okay, we do it better now. It's a little bit better now. A little bit better. Not perfect, but... <laughs> no, okay. That doesn't make sense. We need to... We need to restart this kind of stuff. Okay. 
I disagree. I object. <laughs> Five in a row and a good RNG. I mean, it's just sometimes it is right at the beginning of a flash and it's kind of a power shot, but not the right. Man, I should not talk when I uh, try to do it. <laughs> should pay attention. Attention. <laughs> right, we're gonna make it. Otherwise, yeah, we could improve the weapon. I have to admit, it is much easier to do without stream. <laughs> I'm blaming stream. There is a tiny cognitive delay. Right. Yeah, it's a bit random, actually. Sometimes you get 33, sometimes you get 30, sometimes 31. I think 32 is the health of those targets. Alright, let's try it one more time, and if we don't do it, we continue. We can then come back when we're a little bit more warmed up. some of the materials we need yeah yeah okay let's see how we can upgrade ah uh, no we cannot upgrade we don't have we don't have a forge so we need we need the place to go to get the for to get the core has to be locked up in a here somewhere amid all the cargo the melting pot place hoarded all sorts of fineries from beyond the boundless sea all right let's go there In better days, the melting pot was sealed tighter than the skin on the squirt. Bam! <laughs> right on top of them. Okay. Of all the plans to survive the calamity, it had to be stab weeds. Stab weeds? Right. Of course, you cannot touch them or you will get hurt. Blasted things hurt like a broken heart. Wow. Hurts like a broken heart. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> How did I fell there? Into this little what? What is this? I disagree. I was wrong. Ooh. A bunch of those. And we have something here. It cuts that? down every stab weed like there's gonna be a prize for it. Something nasty. <laughs> Bam. Alright, let's check. What did we pick up? An upgrade material for the fang repeater. A prickly bundle of bones from a carrion creature. The city never got this under control. The calamity did. Right. It takes so long. If Maybe there's that's a the core, reason. he figures it ought to be deeper down. Core stuck inside one of those fancy Wait, what? cages. Okay. here what's that treat mine some of the stuff lying around is downright dangerous okay that's another special attack the treat mine I guess if you put it those mobs will blow up what do I need to do though
Oh, I guess I need to push the switch. He throws a switch. Now what could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? I guess. Quite a bit, as it turns out. Uh -oh. The cage starts lifting from the core ever so slow. All can we go a little bit faster, please? Is wait. Shipments start falling in. Uh oh. Not every square is born bad. They're helping us. Some Thank you. Kids defense. Lovely squares. Judging by the movement of the cage, it's gonna take a little while. Breakers being beam. Nice. Let's break the boxes. No. Oh my god. Scumbags don't take kindly to interlopers. Big one. Even some gas fellas take his corner. Look at these big ones, dude. They're helping us. Finally, a game that not only tries to destroy you, <laughs> but also At this helps. rate, maybe Sometimes. five more minutes, maybe thirty. Hard to tell. What is happening on the screen, lol? Squirts get real territorial around the core. Then a ship and a free sample shows up. Wait. Ain't no easy way out of this mess. Mm -hmm. One thing's for sure, that cage is awful heavy. It ain't all bad, as the kid buys two spices from the motherland, tax free. Damn, that was tactically planned, strategically That's executed. A scene, to be sure. Holy moly! Why are you so many? A few moments left, and the core goes free. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, you give or take a few seconds. Finally, the core's within reach. And done. Oops. Damn it, what is this action? <laughs> I don't remember this. Yeah, there was so much stuff going on here. But I think we made it, no? Not too bad. One poor squirt got locked out there. Music is a banger, absolutely. Ah, hello you. Okay. More experience. Let's pick the core. He's got it. Just gotta get to the nearest barge. Alright. Let's go. Splat! <laughs> Oof. That was actually um, sweaty. I still I remember the look on his face after that one. I had to, had to drink some potions there. Oh, this is what we picked up, the ancient spices. Found, tucked away in a melting pot. Where did they come from and when? Folks voyaged across the boundless sea to found Ceylandia. It was good living here for a while. All right, some spices from, from the folks. Kailondia's ports were always full of trade ships honking their wares. Is this all that remains of them now? We'll figure out, I guess. Let's pet the skirt, right? And the core goes in. The old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. Right. So after Calamity, we try to rebuild the place. 
and this bastion is where people will go if something like this happens so when we try to rebuild it okay let's get the forge done new upgrades a lot available. of things okay. need fixing up in this world and we can start right here good point okay so we can upgrade now also this bowl we can upgrade machete and also fun reaper but fun reaper <laughs> Never, never used it. All right, what can we do? Stab with arrowheads. So we can upgrade the damage and we can go <laughs> easy way <laughs> into the breakers barracks and do the challenge. And this thing causes arrows damage over time. That might be even actually better. I don't remember how much damage over time it does. Don't know. But let's try it first packs here. a special surprise in every one of those arrows. Have still 380. Uh, maybe machete. What does machete do? Critical hit chance, right? But their damage is so little. Kind of feels pointless. Critical damage is double, I think, in here, if I remember correct. <clears throat> so maybe. Attack cripples, cripple foes, and attack deal damage over time. A little Zolwood oil and that blade shines like a light. And we don't have any any other materials for the upgrade. What does this thing do? 150 plus 8 ammo capacity. High capacity ammo drum means more shooting, less reloading. Smart. And 55% faster reload. Custom feeder magazine makes for minimal downtime while firing. But again, it does so little damage to the bow. I feel like one good shot with a bow pierces through and deals a lot of damage. I think it's kind of better. We can continue with the. No, wait, I wanted to. Didn't we. No. Didn't we have machete? Let's go with machete this time. Let's try it out. Landmine, not sure if it's really needed here. What does it say? Complex bo What? <laughs> a complex booby trap rigged to blow as soon as any foes draw near. A spring-loaded triggering mechanism ensures the user's safety, right? And with that we can have dancing shot, mirror shield, trick mine or squid lure. Let's try dancing shot. A bow and a machete. Every bit as effective as the fancier stuff. Right. Okay. Right, let's continue. Let's try the... This one now again. With enhanced damage. We should be able to deal it... <clears throat> to do with it pretty much easily now, I think, for the third prize. For the first prize, I mean. And that's probably going to be some, uh, some new skill, if I remember correct. Okay. We still need to, <laughs> we still need to be very, very careful here. Easy game. Look at this. Of course, now I will do five power shots in a row, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Who would have fought, right? <laughs> Who would have fought? <laughs> I just needed a little bit of confidence that I can do it. And here we go. Breaker Volley. Ooh, that's interesting. That's like a shower of uh, arrows. <laughs> just I happens all the don't time. I believe it when he says he passed the Breaker's challenge. We passed it. First challenge closed completely. That's sweet. All right. Uh, let's check what it does actually. <laughs> Wait, no. Why? Uh, why this? Why did it say we have something new here? We don't have anything new here. I wanted to check what it does. What's the description over here? Breaker volley. A skill used by the swiftest breakers delivering arrow after arrow in a rapid succession, devised by the breaker's most renowned archery instructor. Okay, let's give it a go. 
didn't we didn't we try to get it for this specific reason to pass the challenge okay so oh no machete challenge no 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 <laughs> no 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 next time should be along this precarious walkway be careful up here the sundown path lovely place for a stroll before the calamity that is <clears throat> Let's check it out. <laughs> oh man. Couples used to walk the sundown path. Kid ain't here for pleasure though. Right. Yeah, music in this area is really good. But then... Somebody gets to the core before the kid. Oh, shoot. Okay, so we got to run. Somebody picked up the core the before starts us. Giving way That's interesting. The, step. the single panic squirt to bring the whole place down. So could a reckless kid, for that matter. Okay, the let's old try to pick up as many things as possible. I think if we don't start the next segment, we're gonna stay fine, so we have some time here. What the? Stray valuables are lying everywhere. Kid thinks twice about risking his high form though. Noise. That was a perfectly executed shot. Another one. And well, the path ain't exactly open to visitors. Here, no security is all fired up. I just should avoid stepping on the same places twice, and we should be all right then. Oof! Careful. See, the path was intended for leisurely strolling and such. Not so right. much for noise. With a couple of upgrades, it gets a little bit easier to deal enough damage quick. No, come here. test all right we're getting there <laughs> bronze spy finds glass. a spyglass like the ones they'd use to search the stars okay what does it say a portable telescopic lens used for stargazing the sand down path once held breathtaking views of the stars the mountains and the sea now only the stars remain right Calamity destroyed everything. All right, carefully, carefully going back. Yes, yes, uh, good. Before we go there, let's deal with those guys. Air travel always was an iffy proposition. Uh oh, I didn't notice it also. Falling down. The calamity changed everything, even where the wind blows. Oof. These are angry dudes. I remember later on, if you do some things, they become so deadly. So hard to deal with. It's gonna be a little bit later though. Well, if we mastered the winds in the old days, we could do it again. But the question is, who else could have taken the core? That's a good question. We were thinking we were the only ones, so 
get the core. Well, ain't no oh, survivor oh. stole the thing. Oh, oh. That dude must have taken it. Time to use our special attack. Sweep. Almost diminished to nothing. Tough break. Unlike the kid, that core ain't coming back. Big dude, one special skill, and he's done. Quick and careful is the only way to go. Mm -hmm. No, <laughs> they used to ship live munitions down the Come path. on. <laughs> what is this? It's not fair. No. Right. What did we pick up? Something burned. Also upgrade material for some certain weapon. Stamp of birthstone blown topside during the calamity. Forced in flame already, it is highly resistant to heat. Hmm, what might that mean? Can grenade? Balloon boy? Yeah. <laughs> find time to find them. Hop. Bam. It's wise to toss those things plenty far away. Bam. Pretty easy. All right, you can lock any with gas this. Right, 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 right. right. Shut Gun. Time to time. They get real cranky. Boom. Wake up. Grenade's actually very good. Much better than the mines, seems like. The trip mine or whatever it's called. Never really used them, but seems like they are really good. Oh, there was a skyway already. Okay, Kid keeps okay. coming back to an overwhelming question. Who else could have survived the calamity? Who else? We didn't find anybody so far. Only those ashen people that did not survive it. So he didn't find the core that time, but that ain't about to stop us. Agreed. <laughs> What do you have to say? Only the stars, right. We are no closer to the stars now, are we? We could always see the stars. We just never could reach them, no matter how high we build. Fair point. That we've seen already. All right, we have this something fancy and uh, something burned, but we don't have the weapon for it. Okay, okay. Seems fair. What's our... That's a grenade. Uh, let's switch back to... This skill is used by the swiftest breakers. No, what's the grenade? A portable explosive that detonates on impact when thrown. The Kylodian army rarely depend on these, for their sheer force drew controversy. Fair enough. Let's go with this one still. I guess we need to move on and see what's next. Hanging gardens. Beyond that, no telling what awaits. A veil hangs over this place. And we have also... Oh, the trapper shingle. Right. Just to give you a little bit of a background, these two challenges are... Well, there is one more that is very hard, but this one is pretty hard and can be really <laughs> not forgiving any mistakes. And this one is also like, you need to be super, super quick. Anyways, let's do them a little bit later, maybe at once. Let's let's go for the core. The hanging gardens. Folks used to go here to relax from their relaxing. Have you heard it? Relax from their relaxing. That sounds incredible. The dead welcome him with open arms. Oof. Did we land on somebody? Seems like 
the calamity took everybody after all. Kid sees it plain, frozen faces all around. He don't much care to see him. Not like this. Not like this. We still need to find loot. Never forget about loot. These folks never saw the calamity coming, but someone did. Someone close. Hmm. Can also throw it. Bam. Also with power shot. Someone who ain't like Mr. Beckley and his kindly wife. It was someone like him. Who is this dude? Look at him. There is a dude. He's alive. Kid sees him there agape in the flesh. Although he looks a little bit frustrated. Well, let's figure it out. It's a snag or two trying to get to him. <laughs> he ain't about we to almost stop, died. No matter Jeez. what. There was so much damage. Never come close to those. That was pretty, pretty bad. He's got so many questions after all. The Tronda brothers didn't make it. The brothers didn't make it. That was not fair. They never saw from what it was like beyond the walls. Nor did the bird boy. Terrible. Didn't make it. The bird boy. The Jawsons, they didn't make it. The Jawsons. Nobody made for the calamity. Grady Senior, Grady Junior, they didn't make it. But him, he survived. Dude. What's that? Kid finds proof enough that man ain't from around here. Oh. An insignia borne by people of Ura heritage. The Tazal Spade was a rare sight in Kelondia before the Calamity, as very few Ura lived in the city. Now there are fewer still. Right, so it's some kind of different place, I guess. In this world. And this dude seems to be from there. All right, let's get to him and figure it Just out. Just think, without that man, we wouldn't be here right now, would we? We don't know. Uh oh, the core survived as well. <laughs> the core is there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was expecting this. How can they do so much damage? Kid does what he has to do. Right, let's pick it. And then, what do you say to a man who's seen too much? Kid hasn't a clue. 
but he says this. We have to go. Please. We have to go. The survivor agreed to return to the bastion. Right. He's a proper gentleman, that man. His name is Zolf. No hiding, he's an Ura. Folks like him ain't never been a common sight in Ceylandia. He's relieved to see a living face or two. The kid and I introduce ourselves in kind. Both to him and to each other for the first time. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. One minute break. I'll be right back. the Uhura sigil discovered in the Hanging Gardens. Were there many Uhura living in the city before the Calamity? Can they be trusted here? We fought the Ura decades ago, but that was then. Things are different between us now. Mm, so we had some kind of things going on between folks of Kaelondian and the Ura. Talk to Zulf. His name is Zulf about life in Kaelondia before the Calamity. What was it like living in the city? Didn't you get homesick? For Zolf, Ceylandia was like a second home. He's real worried about his first home too. Far to the east. Right. We all lost loved ones in the Calamity, he says. I don't know how I'm gonna go on without mine. Maybe this can help you. Take your mind off things, you could help us find new Skyway Pass. Zolf offers to help me plot the Skyways for the kid. At least the Calamity hasn't touched the stars, he says. Right. Let's let's ask him about Ura Sigil, discovered in the garden. Have you been in Kailondi alone? Did you travel all the way from the east? He was born in the Tazel Terminals. The Ura sent him on a mission of peace to our city. And he's lived here ever since. Right. Okay. Do we have anything available new? Nope. But we are almost... Almost level 3, actually. Maybe we can upgrade something in the forge? Uh, not really, actually. Ammo capacity. Reload. Yeah, we have a lot of points. Let's do. Turns yeah, out those old bones still have some spark in them. Kid ain't finished here yet. Oh wait, true. We forgot. We forgot about the core. Let's place it. The cores. They remember. That's why this place is coming together. That's why things are gonna be all right. Nice. So we have now also the other part of. Bastion. Can we well, look what we have here. Oh, 
we actually found we have two more plans lost and found and memorial all right what is it holds and restores and a variety of valuables the calamity tore the old world to pieces yet even the smallest fragments can be restored in the past right and the memorial a structure that chronicles past and future and efforts a necessary testament to the calamity by paying tribute to the past one may better prepare for the future right okay let's get the lost and found maybe there will be something new items in stock all right the lost and found here kid takes fragments of the old world and makes them whole again look so many things wow all right holy moly okay so what do we have the graver slash that's a new special skill for the war machete lightning fast flurry of strikes that can cut through you know the toughest armor the origins of this technique are widely disputed though its potency is not something coarse all right that's some uh, upgrade material that's some great material for the fang reaper upgrade for the machete a batch of zul wood leaves best not handled barehanded the world's sharpest blades and treated with their oil. See, okay, we can buy this one. All it takes is some fragments. Makes sense. And the bastion makes it good as new. Another upgrade for the bow. And that, I guess that could wait because we don't have enough anyways to upgrade it. It was 675, I think. What else do we have here? Something heavy. That's for the, for the hammer. Whale Ale, mm-hmm. 25% damage using secret skills. Mariners concocted this mixture to see them through rough waters. Musky, smoky aroma. Okay. Bastion Bourbon. Health tonics fully restored health and plus two health tonic capacity. Made of real whale? <laughs> what? Soothing hot herbal brew with restorative properties, hints of citrus and berry flavors. That sounds delicious. Longhead liquor. 100% damage when counter blocking with a bull head shield. Right, this one is for like counter blocking. Bitter leathery flavor comes from bits of longhead scales, believed to improve reflexes. Well, maybe in game, but not the real life ones. <laughs> Stab synth. Mm -hmm. Automatically retaliate when injured. Waxy. Thirst quenching drink refined from ground stabbed with needles. Spitting up the needles is considered rude but effective. <laughs> okay, I don't think I need anything right now, but what I wanted to get is the this one so we can do the the upgrade to the thing and do the challenge. I know challenges with upgrades <laughs> are easy, but that's how we with how we do it. Okay, let's go. Let's check out uh, the next upgrades for Machete and for Fang Reaper. Machete first. This one cripples one blades per throw. Critical hit damage. Ooh, plus hundred percent. But then I need to go full critical damage here. Like, there are almost no critical hits without uh, increasing the critical hit chance, especially that we don't use the spirit for critical hit chance. And I think it only works with full health, and Machete is, uh, like, very close combat, so we will not have it. <clears throat> Alright, so let's check this one then. 50% damage and improved firing rate. Wider attack spread. No, the that ought to make those fangs sink in nice and deep. This is definitely better. Uh, for the challenge, for sure. And I guess this one. War well, machetes finish. are so quick; you gotta keep a good grip on them. All right. All right. Let's see what do we have next. What kind of? We next? tracked down a couple more cores near Paths the edge of the travel. city. <clears throat> 
Cinderbrick Fort. Okay. That one. It has core. Too bad it lies deep inside the toughest fort in the city. Mm. And Peeth Orchard. Also core. It should be nestled by the shrine to the god of commotion and order. Peeth. But let's do the challenges. We have to. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> I am not. <laughs> okay, this queer population was kept well under control thanks to this place. That's Windbag Ranch. Perfect place to work a blade if you got the stomach for it. <sighs> All right. Let's get, let's get there. <clears throat> this is one of the hardest, in my opinion. Windbag Ranch was built for gathering squirt extract and copious supply. Ain't Requires nothing a lot more of helpful. <clears throat> it has to be done. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Three, two, one. <laughs> Some Stop folks right showed there. up to make a fast buck with nothing Absorb the damage, kill him, Other folks kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Still others use the place to test their finest blades. Oh man, already super bad. <laughs> I'm Slippery little devils. <laughs> What do we need for the first? <laughs> 30 seconds faster. Right. 30 seconds faster. Okay, let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Always time for juice and squirts, they used to say. They used to say. The most important part is to kill as many as possible as soon as they appear. At least the little fellas can't feel a thing. Some and avoid try to flee on anything, anything else. Only them. Only the green ones. Best to put them away first before they rile up the others. All right. No. Wrong. Place gets off no, 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 <laughs> that was close. Man, eight seconds. All must be heat, yeah. <laughs> Did you hear timeout language? Yes. Yes, okay. The ranch was always excuse looking me, for good me. help. Excuse me. Let's try it again. <clears throat> Here we go again. Oh shit. 
Mm. But we did pretty well. I think we killed quite a lot of them. Just need to take really good position over here. One. And only look for the green ones. Only the green ones. Only the green ones. Nope. Two escape. Alright. I think we are... Stop! Right there! No. Destroyed. Right. Unless I massively do something wrong, it should be good. Kick carves through all of them in a flash. Easy. Easy. Forty-nine seconds. Eleven seconds left. <clears throat> Easy. Let's go. Whew. That one is really rough. You well, have to be very, very, very precise. Terror in the hearts of Roll. everywhere. Right. All the squirts stuck in terror. Absolutely. To go zoom. Now we can see we already do really good here. <clears throat> good squirt. Uh, come on. Give the little tiger a break. Not even off the map. Right. We got one more, but we don't have the pieces. Even more, all right, even more cripple attacks. And here, even more critical chance. So 20, 20, and 100% increased damage. That could deal a lot of damage, actually. Yeah, those, because they change their directions so often, it's really hard to pinpoint them with the, with a throw. Really difficult sometimes. Uh, do we have anything here? No. All right, let's go. So now the second one. This one. Right. You will see now what it is. And uh, I will explain it a little bit. <laughs> the trappers once tested their hunting rifles, rifles as well as their footwork here. That's trapper shingle. Only place in the city to go to get certified with a repeater. Right. No place better than Trapper Shingle mm -hmm. for learning to tread light and shoot straight. Trappers right. had to tread real carefully or else take a nasty fall. They train themselves by clearing out the targets while not clearing out the floor. Right. So with this thing, you cannot shoot and move. So you have to shoot only while standing. But there is a little caveat to this. From the beginning, I'm stating this. I'm going to use aim lock on this challenge. Because otherwise, like, it's impossible. Any good trapper knows never to take a step till the time is right. Yeah, I think we should have enough damage to do it. That shouldn't be too difficult. Without aim lock, you have to... You will have to actually... <clears throat> aim yourself and that's pretty crazy no. <laughs> expert trappers got something extra to give them an edge oh even this way even this way i didn't manage to the last beat is very hard i missed two targets all right let's pick the pick the rewards Something nasty and something greasy. All right, and yeah, let's redo it. Hey, Kragis, hello. How are you doing? We have some. Uh, on the shingle. We decide to keep working, so we have some Christmas streams, sort of, going. I promised it, or like I wanted to do it this week, 
and uh, we have Bastion right in front of us. So this is the first game of the Super Giant Games, the ones that made Hades, if you don't know. Like this is all here very easy. Best time to pick a new spot was when swapping magazines. Have to be very careful. And before the last one, we should really try to do as much as possible over here, right? And now we will go far ahead. Do it faster. Right, okay. Okay, that's the trap this time what they needed for a better hunt. How's it going, Rikis? Are you preparing for Christmas? Can you slip the two questions in? Of course. Right. Unless it's about me quitting the two. Kick W. The trap is yeah, easy. I was probably worried more. Shingle. Yeah, that would have impressed them. I was worried more about it. But if you try to do it without auto aim, without aim lock. You're gonna have really, really hard times. Like, <laughs> if he has found Shaco yet, <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> I haven't. Not in PD2 either. Not in D2R uh, CS runs. Nowhere. I haven't found it. <clears throat> found an Nth giant treasure. Clean. Do you gamble for open sockets or Larzic? It for BOD. Hey, Koma, what's up? How are you doing? Uh, we are playing new game. Yeah, for BOD, I think it's a very, uh, very little damage. It has very little damage. It's a very fast base, so again, like 50 IS from BOD will not do much to it, to be honest. So, yeah, yeah, it's very little. I would rather go for, for something or for, for open sockets. Koma, we are playing uh, Bastion, the first game of Super Giants. I don't know if you know it or not, but uh, yeah, we've done already a couple of levels here. The starting one, where here is our Bastion and like some others doing some challenges. It's action adventure with uh, some cool mechanics, some really nice gameplay and very good story, music, narration. So, not Bastion keep. <laughs> Well, in a way, this is the cinder brick fort. This is basically a fort made of all the unfortunate slams in PD2. So we're gonna visit it soon. So let's go first to the Pith Orchard. There's Pith Orchard, built in honor of the bull, and folks like Zolf who pray to him. Let's go. Looks pretty fun. Yeah, it is. Uh, gameplay here is really fantastic. No, no use no. praying so to the gods these days. No time for it either. No use for praying gods these days, right? So basically, what happened here is like the giant calamity destroyed everything. Places a dead end in more ways than one. Places a dead end in more ways than one. Right. So the calamity happened. The whole world destroyed, and only with the power of uh, this city crest, we actually get those tiles appear in front of us and guide the path and what we tried to do we went to the bastion itself and tried to rebuild the fort with the cores that we find in the folks places. used to make pilgrimage here to pay their respects to pith the bull pith the bull yeah so we tried to find those find try to find those cores to rebuild well, our bastion gods are long gone now and the orchard core it's long gone too. Seems so. Pith ain't much of a watchdog. Mm -hmm. Do you think I believe that you are not going to move? Nope. Only fool. <laughs> Would say so. Plushy Pith. The gods don't care about trinkets, but the kid ain't no god. 
Right. Almost nobody survived the calamity, but we did. And another guy, Rooks, and the one we found just recently, Zulf. A machine stitched likeness of the god of commotion and order. As the people of Kyalondia grew more self reliant, they grew less fearful of their gods and turned them into commodities. Right. Alright, let's explore. What do we have? What do we have here? Where are the enemies? It stood for something once. Something real. In time, though, the bull stopped being a symbol and started being decoration. He couldn't even save his loyal subjects. What's that? Something coarse, right? That was the, yeah, unknown weapon. We still don't know what weapon it upgrades. A coil of refined aloe flavored by the machinists. Machinists, machinists. Used to make firing mechanisms and ammunition. Okay. <clears throat> I guess we'll find out sooner or later. Piff makes a decent scarecrow at least. Somehow I feel that <laughs> one bad move and it's going to attack us. Right. Then Piff lights up like a rodeo. Of course, I knew that. Ain't easy punching through his hide. Bam. But well, we can block his attacks. Easy. Kid breaks into bits. Bam. Must have been guarding that shrine. What is this place? A shrine. So what'll it be? Invoke the gods, or tell them off. All right. Peef. God of commotion and order, Fo foes shall grow quicker to move and to strike. The wakeful bull, patient yet, patient yet temperam temperamental, adorns the city's walls with his likeness. Piv. The foes will be stronger. 10% more loot and 10% more experience, but they will be stronger. <laughs> so this is, this is, in my opinion, like one of the best difficulty systems that I've seen in the games. So there will be a lot of those different, different gods that will have different mechanics to make the game more difficult. So it, Difficulty in this game is first of all optional, you can select and unselect it if you want to. And it also does not rely on making enemies health 10 times more and damage 10 times more. So yes, exactly, that's uh, how it is. Well, this is the first game of the developers of Hades, so super giant games. So, and this is really probably one of the best systems I've seen uh, in general. Like. Throughout many, many, many games, uh, this is one, the most thoughtful and like really interesting one that adds interesting mechanics that change the way you play the game. Well, kid decides to press his luck. Well, if the gods are alive, they must be plenty sore. Kid ain't never seen windbags that quick. Maybe old Pith put a scare in him. Yeah. Yeah, you want more rewards, earn them exactly. And it's not only about rewards, it's like there is a lot a lot more challenge comes with it. Like honestly, I I beat the game with uh, all that are available in a normal playthrough. But not all the like then in a new game plus there are I think two more that are available and that I didn't do but in the new game plus, that thing is really hard. 
and some challenges I couldn't really do with with all of them. Like one of the last challenges because it's just impossible. You like the mobs are super quick and super strong. It's really getting very difficult. So now they move much faster and attack also way faster. So it's harder to actually deflect them or yeah, you see. Level four. Nice. So we can also keep one more spirit. The gods ain't gonna Oops. catch you if you fall. Even the gods wouldn't catch you if you fall. That's right. Holy. Kid ain't found a core. But least he found Zolf's precious shrine. Right. Okay. So there was no core in here. And like, yeah, comparing to I don't know the games like Oblivion or now we Skyrim. Now we build a shrine of our own. Though I got some alternatives in mind. As well as like I don't know God of War or something where the whole difficulty is just you have to hit enemies or like Resident Evil even. Although, like in Resident Evil, at least they balance the amount of ammo you get, but it all basically comes down to the fact that you need to hit enemies instead of 10 times, 100 times in order to kill them, and it's, I don't know, to me it's just ridiculous. Would you like to hang on to this? The Ura people worshipped the same gods as us, after all. Zolf doesn't touch the thing. Says the god of commotion is no children's toy. Right. The gods didn't bother to stop the calamity, did they? The Ura feared the gods. We turned them into toys, put their faces on our walls. Let's check this dude here. Peef. Steam bull. Turn nice. around and round all you like. Pith's still gonna be ugly. <laughs> nice joke. Let's check if we can do an upgrade here. How much? 230. Oops. Not really enough for anything. Actually. Alright. I thought also maybe let's try a different attack. Ghost Blade. Oh, that's the one we just unlocked. Secret technique that slices through everything in its path. An old graver went missing in a cave for months but returned having mastered this move. What does it do? Let's check it. I have no idea what it does. I don't remember. <laughs> Can't be too careful these <laughs> days. Right. Looked into the chat for one second, and that's what happened. Ooh, the bull head court. Proving ground. Alright, we'll go there after this one. Let's check the fort. Cinder Brick Fort. That's Cinder Brick Fort, where the marshals used to watch over the city. There's only one way in the Cinder Brick Fort. Bam. The hard way. The hard way. Dude, the narrator is so cool. Logan Cunningham, so good. Same guy who makes voiceover for Hades himself. Sure, the city marshals may be gone, but now the fort's crawling with windbags. Right. 
no more marshals here. Wham! Kids ready for the windbags this time. Wham! <laughs> we gonna wham, bam. Alright, let's not. The calamity was mercy for normal folks. These the dudes are very so hard lucky. now. Because they are fast now. <laughs> <laughs> and they do a lot of damage to it. Oh man. I, I forgot the, the extra spirit. No. They've been left to freeze, or starve, or face the kid. Dude, I'm absorbing those. All right, absorbing all the all the projectiles. like an old cowboy exactly These are really hard <laughs> to catch. All right, very hard timing. <clears throat> Least the marshals left the kid a parting gift. So what do we have here? A scrap musket, right? Something the windbags just can't handle. Something that'll punch clean through their greasy hides. Bam. 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 One of my favorite weapons in the game. No need to aim. Lazy game. <laughs> Bags ain't much different from normal folks. All they want's a warm place to stay and a decent meal. Multi shot demon hunter, yes. <laughs> We're bowers on it. The calamity drove the wind the orthodox folks. A lot of them wound up here roll, in this very fort. Shoot. Easy. Easy game from here. Right, let's check what, what do we have here. All of this for free? Nah, I don't believe it. Free loot? We got any traps? Really? Okay. Could have been minding the business underground like in the old days. Have you seen it? Holy moly! Did so much damage. Leave me alone! <laughs> Nice. I didn't 
But now I don't have good weapon for for like single single Wind target damage. can't use the martial supplies, but the kid sure can. Do we have anything new here? Snooze dart. Oh, that's for the Fang Reaper. All right. I guess let's keep it like this for now. As for the wind, we maybe change something. Simdenberg gave him enough heat and metal to munch on for a while. Ooh, the core. I bet something bad will happen as soon as we pick it up. All right, well, let's the fort ain't theirs by right. Can't blame them for wanting it though. This is what I understand real real win. So many of those sorry things hold up inside that old fort. We need to look at our spirits, maybe get something a little bit better, more appropriate to the situation. Maybe the damage reduction one. Don't let them deploy. He's blasting everything in sight with that new fangled musket. <gasps> uh -oh. One step and you fall. Anything there? Bam. <laughs> the other side. <laughs> nice. Bam. They are so fast. Don't have anything fast enough to throw at them. And this thing, the musket, doesn't deal enough damage to deal with them actually. Right. I don't need a secret skill here. Mm, maybe I did need one. <laughs> if I knew they're gonna slam me for more than half HP. Secured his plane gone haywire. Windbags gummed up the works. Easy one. They only fire at the close range, the fire throwers. Bam. It ain't afraid to get burned. Right. <laughs> careful, careful. Don't have to close. They trapped the kid in the middle of the fort's parade grounds. Getting the feel of the game again. Then they bring us a Rubus and Glanton and all their scumbag uncles. They 
got something to gain, and only their sorry hides to lose. Right. It's getting a little bit more sweaty here. Another boss fight. Let's deal with something easy first. Let's throw some some of those at them. Kid yep. takes that, Glutus. Or oh, maybe it was Blandon. The other big fella soon joins his brother, wherever they are now. The other big fellas. Fellas, fellas, fellas. The windbags finally get the message. Uh, let's pick up the loot. That wasn't too difficult. Now that we can kite and throw things from the back, it's not too difficult. And also, of course, after all the challenges, my skills have raised to the point where it's almost impossible to die. Unless the gravity comes. <laughs> What's that? Marshall's badge. Kid used to dream of getting a Marshall's badge, but not like this. Not like this. <laughs> What's that? Prestigious symbol of the city's law enforcement. The city's citizens respected and admired the Marshalls for their unwavering dedication to preserving peace and justice. And the shrine is. Facility whose sacred idols may bring fortune or ruin. Whether the gods will help or hinder in the wake of the calamity is anyone's guess. Okay. The skyway's right. a welcome sight after all that. But we got the core, right? We did everything. And now ain't before. nothing left for nobody down at Cinderbrook Fort. Nobody left here, unfortunately. The Kid shows up just as Zolf's telling me about his own journey to the city. The squirts and windbags were just living there, trying to survive the calamity, but we came and took it all back. Seems the only thing the calamity saved for Zolf was a smoking pipe. Ooh, smoking pipe. Let's talk to him. What about this uh, smoking pipe? Where did you get this? In the city, they used to say this stuff was very strong. Zolf brought his antique smoking pipe all the way from the terminals. Hmm. Okay. Did the marshals ever give you a hard time being an Ura and all? The marshals seem like good men, he says. They treated him with dignity. Right. And what about you, Rooks? The marshals brought the city back to work in order after the war, didn't they? Even since the Ura surrendered to us, the marshals kept a wary eye on him. No smoking, exactly. Exactly. Alright, we need to look first for here, the distillery, because we are level 3 and I forgot to put a new one here. Squared Cider, 10 max health, critical chance at health, full health. As you may have noticed, I almost never have full health. <laughs> the hearty punch. Uh, carrying after defeat? No, we don't really need it at the moment. We're whiskey. Active only when below 33%. That's also not the biggest time. Okay, we probably need to buy a new one. Yep. Want to proceed? <clears throat> Let's check what we can buy first. Can I build anything? Wait, I forgot to put. Let's put them four in the monument. Zolf's travels ain't much compared to what the kids had to go through for all this. Right. We can build either the memorial or the shrine. I think we should build a shrine to make more game a little bit harder. Memorial is basically achievements. Let's do this one. New idols available. Behold. The Pantheon. Beef. Akobi. Goddess of Oath and Abandon. Foes shall have vengeance in their throes of defeat. In the throes of defeat, right? 
No one bound the chest and maid save for herself. Her shackles are her own design. A Kobe. A Kobe. Five percent more. The gods speed. never liked competing for people's affections. Let's see how hard it is going to be. Final warning. Oh, that's a musket, right? A blast sent straight up into the air, causing a flurry of projectiles to rain down on the area. Not effective as a warning, but very effective otherwise. Right. That was machete stuff. Um, I wanted to check quickly. More health tonics. Damage when counter blocking. Automatically retaliate. Oh, and we have another two. Javel. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite idol. Foes shall gain resilience to physical harm. Mm hmm. How the tower keeper's face is that of youth in his prime, and the other an old man. And hence, goddess of pain and pleasure, foes shall strike with greater ferocity. No! <laughs> They already hit hard. They say the veiled widow is smiling beneath her robes, her body all scratches and scars. Right. Hey, let's buy one idol. Finders keepers. And one spirit. And then we buy another one. But I don't know which one I want. Where is the one that uh, reduces the damage taken? <laughs> Where is the easy mode? Where is the easy mode in this game? I guess I will use then uh, that one. Or maybe this. I think this, right. Okay, let's do this. For now, I do block sometimes and also the challenge is there, so... Let's go. Try. Harder! Harder! <laughs> A sip of lunkhead liqueur will toughen you up. Too bad it's like drinking a saddlebag. Drinking a saddlebag sounds exciting. Alright, let's go to the shrine and activate the one. Listen, listen, that's my favorite thing here. Javel. Javel. Yes. 5%. What does it do though? Oh, resilience to physical harm. Alright, alright. Oof. Okay. Um, upgrades or new right new weapon now because we have a musket. Grab musket. This thing, ghost blade. Not sure if I really like it. Let's try using hand grenade. Never used it. And a musket is is so good. <laughs> so good to change it. keep using it. Maybe I will change machete. Let's go back to our hammer. Kids ready to get real personal with hammer and musket in hand. Ready to get real personal. Exactly. Absolutely ready. Oh, right, and this something course is actually an upgrade to musket. Okay, let's check the upgrade. 50% range, minus 50% spread. I don't think it makes sense, no? I would rather than use, I don't know, like a bow or something. 35% spread and minus 15% range. I don't like either of those. <laughs> um, right, maybe, yeah. You want to tune a scrap one. musket, you start with the barrel. Let's do this one. <clears throat> maybe we can buy the other upgrade, but we'll probably don't have them. We will not have enough... wait... What? How did I get stuck there? Yeah, it's 200. Right, let's buy it anyways. Because it's so leathery, huh? I imagine it, it's like licking a cow's hide. <laughs> probably, probably. Hm. That's smart. Tiny little details that make it all fun. Ooh, we have so many challenges now. The hammer one, the musket one, and the 
the shield one. And the long Langstone River. Right, but first I wanted to do the Bullhead Court now. Very few emerged and scabs from the Bullhead Court, but many tried. That's the Bullhead Court. Folks defended themselves there with shields, not words. Hmm, sounds intriguing. Right, let's give it a try. The accused always got a fair shake in Ceylandia. Some used to take the bullhead trial. Good. Deflect attacks without getting hit? What? <laughs> mm. Survive the trial without taking a scratch. You'd walk away a free man. Mm-hmm. I see, I see. I see. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, come on. Get out of here. The bullhead trial taught folks three things. First, a good defense is a good offense. Second, gotta always watch your back. Third, Indeed. Ain't no godlike bull up there gonna save you. Yikes. Thing appeared everywhere. No, that was bad. We're doing pretty bad, guys. Hundred percent. You will be surprised. Oh, these guys are also really hard to deflect. Come, come one by one. I'm here. Yo, dude. Be one by one, please. Can you get separated? Two of them is almost impossible. Three of them is like maximum impossible to do at the same time. That's not all. Right. Holy. Holy. The smarter ones. No, how did this happen? <laughs> That was super bad. Even worse. Oh man. What a bad performance. Only one way to deal with this dude. <laughs> no. <laughs> How? <laughs> He's cheating. Second prize. Mm. Three hits or fewer? What? 
Mm, right, let's, let's try it. I mean, to be honest, I think I did like the first one was just I was just Course unprepared, so I got like kid. three, four hits in a row, and then uh, with the last dude also Old was a little bit stupid. When folks believe there was Mostly I made the. Uh, I got hits do with nothing but a shield. because I bumped on them when they just started to spawn instead of really getting real hits or anything. Very careful, please. Now, now we don't have our cheat cheat place here to deal with the dude, but we can do it next to the last prize actually. Come on, shoot here. Okay, there should be one somewhere here. Second one can still stay. One, two. One, two. Shoot. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. Oof. Come on. Okay. One done. Three sounds fair, yeah. Zero would be like a little bit uh, crazy, I think zero hits. Sometimes these ones also manage to to land the heat. Okay, no chances anymore <laughs> for mistake. Sometimes these ones, because they have a little bit of the... Uh, you see, like, going around, they sometimes uh, also manage to hit you for no reason. Like, without really hitting you. Okay, squirts. Squirts can be hard to... They can be hard. And then we have one more green dude, and green dude is super fast. Not the one who developed Path of Diablo, but the gas fella. Come, come to me. one ah, that's really tough come there somewhere here okay who's next uh, steal those right Ooh, that was the last freaking moment. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> the last guy, oh my god. I almost missed that my finger slipped from the shift. Shift is blocking and my finger slipped from it, so... Whew. All right, let me breathe a little bit. This guy is also super unpredictable. You can also you also cannot stand on his like goo that is there. So it could be really hard. What? What? What is this? Why? <laughs> Just fall. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. How do we make him fall? 
<laughs> Even if he hits you when you have shield active, you still get a hit. So you have to lure him out. There is no way to, to damage him otherwise or like to deal with him. We need to find a spot that will be enough for him to actually drop down. The thing is, it's very unpredictable how far he goes. Which way we should... maybe here? close <clears throat> right here should be enough no you freaking <laughs> no you bastard bastardo oh my god dude that was such a brilliant play dang it all right let's give it another try this one takes also quite a while to do, unfortunately. One little mistake. A bit. happen you have you have wrong target locked that's not good Their delayed attacks. So annoying. Some folks wound up taking the coward's way out. Mm -hmm. Okay, this dude is no joke, he can make it or break it, unfortunately. Yep. That's what I meant. Alright, let's give it another try, otherwise we can move on and maybe do it next time. That's a very tedious one to do, unfortunately. That stupid scumbag. This the stupid comeback in the end. Why was he so fast in the end? I mean, one real try, okay? Not like this. Okay. They all have different timings, and that makes it really confusing. Thank 
Q. That was really nice. All makes it very confusing when you get used to one, how to react to the other. You would be the worst person for this, really? <laughs> I, again, they... I did aggro both of them. them somehow. Well. No, with two it's too dangerous. I know we don't gain any skill there or anything, just some uh, gems for improvements, but for upgrades, but still. Right, minus one. After this once, fighting with a green dude is very difficult because he's like much faster. And here, you have to wait quite a bit. Yeah, you see? Perfect. Perfectly executed. What did hit me second time? What? I only had one hit. <clears throat> Who's next? Oh, the green one. Shoot. That's bad. Also, the other one. No. Return to Bastion. Fortunately, unfortunately, we have to retreat. We admit our defeat here. Well, a kid always wanted to compete in the bullhead trial. <laughs> oh man, that's really difficult. Squirt. Oh, one of the balls just went through. Yeah, you see, that's that's what also could happen very easily there. Unfortunately, wait, but did did we keep the the gold, right? Did we? Yeah, I think we did. Mm. Let's buy the improvement for it wasn't the, fixed. It was unbroken. For that one, and also let's buy another idol. So since we have now money for that, let's go to the shrine. Hands. Hense. Hense. 10%. So, implying something that it's quite difficult. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Forge. Can improve our hammer. Wait, what? Ah, wait, I thought I don't have an improvement. Okay, so it, it costs 500. Focus attack. To focus, defend, defend for a few moments using a bullhead shield and then attack. Alright. And this one, upper cataracts cause knockback. I like without moving to uppercut. Okay. Well, then after next one, I guess. <clears throat> Let's go. Ay, ay, ay. All right, those two we do a little bit later. Langston River. That's the Langston River. Used to cut all the way to the wild. Think it was bad then. Think it was bad then? Mm, not sure. Let's go there. Let's check it out. New area. We need to find, I think, the last core, isn't it? Or the last building. The Langston River flowed free and wild till the calamity drank it all up. Mm. Maybe, Maybe all that birdies. water just grew wings and flew off. Some birdies. 
definitely nothing good coming out of it. We will see. Okay. Some free stuff over here. <coughs> Riverbank swarming with windbags. Where is he going? Alright, now I feel like I need to. He takes a hard hit, what? but he ain't finished. What? <laughs> what? He just two hit me. What is this? Yep, that's the difficulty. Did you see that? What happened after we shot him? Jesus, he's so fast and dropping grenades after. Wow. Wow. <laughs> they were so bent on finding the core, they hardly noticed the kid. Lucky for him, a certain famous fairy barge is still afloat. Damn it, that's a real difficulty over here. Oof, oof. We Ooh, that's going to be very difficult. She sends some proper. squirts crying home as she leaves port. Maybe Nelly knows the way to the core. Maybe she can slip right past all the clamor on the coast. Yep. Or maybe not. Security skiff pulls up port side. Without Nelly's a long shoot weapon, range weapon, guns. that is strong enough, it's going to be really difficult. This one is just not them, for sure. Just bags notice who she's sailing with. They're pretty steamed about what happened at Cinderbrick. They can find, be find between them. Definitely. They try to cut her off. They try to slow her down. Uh. They try to knock oh, her wow. out. The river's such an overwhelming place. Holy moly! <laughs> Jeez, no, we need to return to Mastion to change the weapon. It just doesn't work like this. Some of the mobs I need to kill with the uh, ranged weapon and uh, yeah, it's just... The musket just doesn't deal enough damage so far. Let's let's try changing it. Um, I guess the bow, right? Uh, here. Well, let's keep it for now. Now that's a lot of damage. Yeah, they just gang banged me basically in like no time. One side kicked and uh, two put me into the f into the air and that's it. Those guys in the air with a slow weapon, it's really hard to deal well, with the them. River ain't coming to be back just by talking about it. With a slow melee weapon, so you need something ranged ideally. Strong enough. Fanaticism archers. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. Feels like it. It does feel like it. Like with all the, diffi with all the difficulties, the ranged weapons definitely play out quite a bit better. And also, like in the heat of the battle, you don't always They're see so those grenades that are falling after, after dealing with them. So you may catch one or two and they also Lucky do some damage. Lucky certain famous fairy barge is still afloat. Yep, you see? What, like one-fifth of the health? Weeping Nelly. She sends right. some squirts crying home as she leaves port. Maybe Nelly knows the way to the core. Maybe she can slip right past all the clamor on the coast. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Or maybe not. 
A security skiff pulls up portside. Nelly's just another windbag to those guns. Just then, the windbags notice who she's sailing with. They're pretty steamed about Goodness, what happened Goodness, the so break. much damage they do. Jeez, this is so bad. They try to cut her off. He <laughs> takes a hard hit, but he ain't How? Finished. Leave me alone, you bastards. They try to slow her down. What is this? The river's such an overwhelming <laughs> place. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know how to do that. Right. Well, the river ain't coming back just by talking about it. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> and it's not even the end of the, of the level, right? This level is pretty tough. I remember that... On the new game plus, I tried this level for like one hour, I think. When I had all the idols and even like with all the levels and you know, abilities and stuff, it was still it's just too fast, one two shotting enemies. Really, really bags. Difficult. They're so bent on finding the core, they hardly notice the kid. <laughs> That's brutal, yes, yes. Lucky for him, a certain Easy uh, indie game, fall. right? With no challenge. <laughs> Alright, should we have picked it up? Weeping Nelly. She sent some squirts crying yep. home as she you see what board. happens here. Maybe Nelly knows the way to the core. Maybe she can slip right past all the clamor on the coast. What to do with that uh, wave when they are or all maybe there? Not. It's very intense. The security skiff pulls up port side. Nelly's just another windbag to those guns. Now it's going to be super difficult. Just then, the windbags notice who she's sailing with. Maybe they're pretty steamed about maybe what happened at fall. Cinderbrick. Kid almost falls maybe again. I should not fall. <laughs> Try to slow her down. Zero lab. Are you kidding? They try to <laughs> knock her out. <sighs> well, Weeping Nelly tries harder. Okay, we survive. She might survive. She hits a snag. Holy moly. Uh oh. Kids gotta help her get untangled. Favors for favors. Alright, we survived that crazy beat. Now let's go very carefully. I didn't use any of my uh, tonics. Uh, maybe I will leave it for now. Can experience that. At least you picked so a good much. spot for a break. Because the core is right there. <laughs> Arsenal. Okay. Bow works well. Can we do anything better here? We can do mirror shield in case there are so many, um, so many things. Squirt probably not going to really help much. Let's try mirror shield. Never used it before actually. And I also feel like we need something really faster here. Uh, I'm even thinking maybe the musket or machete. Well, let's try machete. Ooh, dude. That kinda works. Get rid of everything that can kill us on the way back. Oof. <clears throat> now, 
we pick it up and you guys all know what's going to happen. Then the kid hears an unusual sound. What? Like a hundred flapping wings. What is happening here? Peckers. Peckers. Woody Woodpeckers. Yeah. At least they don't deal so much damage. That's already something. They've been watching his every move. Holy, there is. They had their own happening. eyes on the core. But why? Well, kid ain't got time to think it over just yet. Why do they have an eye on the core? Who knows? He yeah, finds Weeping Nelly raring to go. Oh! Turns out she's got a special the mine, sweet. When the water's getting rough. Get him! Get him! Let's get out of here! <laughs> Let's get out of here! She's gonna need a little help with all them pickers. Traffic things think they're king of the roost now. The rest of us only wish oh we could fly in times like these. Even those boom bombs do so much damage. And just to remind you that those bombs are the result of the of the difficulty increase that we chose. Security skips keep on so much harder. The starboard side. Don't seem to care what they shoot, as long as they hit something. No. The windbag's getting even better, I dear. No, 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 no. Takes a hard hit, but he ain't finished. One chance left. They ain't the smash we've been yelling at splinters. Uh. Come on, he just clapped me. <laughs> oh my god, what do we do? He just clapped me. How can I survive there if they just clap me in one heat? That's impossible. Really? <sighs> wow. <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? How to make it? I don't know. Don't get surrounded. Yeah, easy to say. <laughs> mm. Alright, let's give it another try. With well, the uh, river ain't coming back just by talking about it. Otherwise, we might need to remove some of them. I know the one that makes it super hard. The one that makes them super fast. That one is really, really difficult. And I feel like I might have also done some uh, wrong upgrades for, for the items. Which also made some of my weapons a little bit too weak. <coughs> Inadequate for, swarming with for the situation. Wow. They're so bent on finding the core, they hardly notice the kid. It's just... Lucky for him, a certain famous fairy barge is still afloat. They are super fast and do a lot of damage. That's probably the hardest thing here. Weep and Nelly. She sends some squirts crying home as she leaves port. Maybe Nelly knows the way to the core. Maybe she can slip right past all the clamor on the coast. All right, we're gonna we're gonna or get maybe better. maybe not. A security skiff pulls up portside. Okay, we are much better already. Nelly's just another windbag <laughs> to those guns. Where do they come from now? In here, right? Just then, the windbags notice who she's sailing with. They're pretty steamed about what happened at Cinderbrick. The 
they try to Kill. cut her off. Kill it. Dude. Just look They try to help. slow her down. They try to knock her out. Well, that the just... Nelly tries harder. Uh... Try as she might, she hits a sweaty. <laughs> Very sweaty indeed. Kids gotta help her get untangled. Favors for wow. favors. Wow, alright. That's getting really sweaty over here. I'm trying my best. Yeah, I don't... I probably don't need the blocking damage right now. I should rather use... The one with the uh, five health potions and full potion restore. Yeah, specials can also help, yeah. I forget to use them all the time. Not all of them are easy to use. A good spot for a break, because the core is right there. I feel like if I'm getting surrounded, they are too fast, so... Mm, but the mirror shield, it doesn't damage them, so it wasn't really help. But it counter blocks. Maybe the grenade. Okay, let's, let's try the grenade still. Maybe grenade will work better. Honestly. Just for what it is. Not picking up this one. Because grenade I can just throw and basically. And then the kid hears the usual sound, like a hundred flapping wings. You see what they do? Hackers. He takes a hard hit, but he ain't finished. What? It is impossible, even with a block. Impossible to survive there. Absolutely. They've been watching his every move. And they hit through the block. I don't know how they do it. They had their own eyes on the core. But why? Well, kid ain't got time to think it over just yet. He finds a weeping Nelly raring to go. Turns out she's got a special surprise for when the waters get rough. She's gonna need a little help with all them pickers. Crafty things think they're king of the roost now. Rest of us only wish we should fly just, in times uh... like these. Kind of move around so that we are attacking anything here. And let it heal. Let it do some damage Security by itself. Gifts keep on coming, starboard side. Don't seem to care what they shoot, as long as they hit something. It almost falls again. Mm -hmm. And this is what happens. Nope. The windbags get an even better idea. They aim to smash we've been nearly the splinters. No. They don't know the kid's just trying to help. Or maybe they don't care. Well, it all proves too much for poor Nelly. Stop falling, I'm telling you. <laughs> Alright. Seems like we just gotta it. make one last stop. the last breath, Nelly gets the kid to solid ground. Solid ground no, 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 in Pecker no, 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 no. Country. The river is such an overwhelming place. No! <laughs> that was the end! <laughs> mm. 
Right. Let's go easy mode. Well, the river ain't coming <laughs> back just by talking about it. <laughs> that was the end. I tried to catch the the thing to to heal. Because that's also one of the hardest enemies in the game. That stupid bird that is omega hard, omega quick. And deals a lot of damage. Jeez. Impossible. The worst level in the game. <laughs> I mean, seriously, there are, most of the levels are not that hard at all. This one is extremely hard. Riverbanks swarming with windbags. Look at them. They are plushy now. They don't do anything. <laughs> They're so bent on finding the core, they hardly notice the kid. Look! Look Lucky how easy it is without idols. <laughs> On easy mode. Or maybe I should have... Yeah, I probably should, should have tried with uh, different spirits. One for extra life. And one for full health restoration. Millie. She sends some squirts crying home and she leaves port. Maybe Nelly knows the way to the core. Yeah, anyways, let's try to play for Maybe it. Now I don't have right a chance to die without idols. <laughs> if I die without them, it means like, yeah. Or maybe not. GG. GG Gaming is here. I should then go side. and play some uh, tactical games without any action. <laughs> <laughs> Which I did, by just the way. Just then, the windbags notice who she's sailing with. I, I mean... Look, what is this damage? He hit once in 5 seconds and before he would do like more than half of the damage in less than 2 seconds. This is nothing comparable. They try to slow her down. But seriously, this is really one of the hardest levels in this game, I think. A lot of other levels are easier because out. you also have like access to better weapons and like stronger weapons. Well, we and Nelly try. And also better tonics. Or try as she might though. She hits a snag. So you can sustain. Like there is one that uh, reduces Kids damage and stuff like untangled. that. So you can favors sustain it easily, easier. But this one is kind of on the verge where you don't have enough points to... Or maybe I should have done the pipe, then I probably had enough points to do a couple of improvements as well and buy more tonics. Yeah, I guess that would have been, would have been the best thing to do. Yeah, look, they die in one heat. <clears throat> and by the way, yeah, Shinui, I just what, what I wanted to mention... They finally they went through the character break, creation in Baldur's Gate right to, there. to do it, and I thought like mm, maybe I will just look around Candlekeep, you know, just like to remember a few things. Four hours later, <laughs> like at 3 a.m. in the morning, <laughs> I'm walking down the roads. Already outside of Candle Keep and like, all right, all right, I have to go to bed. <laughs> then the kid hears an unusual sound, like a hundred flapping wings. How ro how long are all the character dies? Yeah. There was one moment where it's like 1 a.m. or something or to uh, midnight. There was a very loud scream. No, <laughs> because I rerolled 94. <laughs> I didn't notice it, I rerolled 94. And I read that like above 95 is really hard, like you have to spend hours and hours to get above 95. They've been and yeah, I rerolled 94, I was like, no. So yeah, I think I spent like 45 minutes rolling, rolling the dice. They had their own eyes on the core. I settled Why? on 93, which well, is like honestly a huge yet. difference. Like, I I got 88 and I thought like yeah that seems fine but 93 allows to have three of the main things of the main stats maximum it turns out she's got and, a special surprise for when the waters get rough and 
like 18, and then also one at 14, and two others at 10. She's gonna so need like, a little help you, with all you don't have beggars. any negatives. Like it's crazy how Traffic strong it is. King of the so now. it's just crazy. But yeah, the whole fact that like only wish we could fly at times like these. I started playing it, and I wasn't sure like yeah how long I will play and how long it will go, and then you know. I couldn't stop after that. That's insane how good that game is. <laughs> Security you never skips keep on coming. You start young, inside. Right? Yep. It prompts you to do something much in there. They hit something. Solid ground. Where is Solid that silly bird? Where is that silly bird? There she is. Seems a calamity ain't hurt the pickers' is... appetites. They want that core real really bad. Hard. Might be they want like, it just not joking, as bad like, as a it's kid. Really hard. kid shoes with all off, the idols, bad. it's super hard to deal with. Not even once. Not even once. Alright, seems like we are through. Opening? Okay. Okay. Guys, give me one second. I'll be back just in a, in a minute. Alright, back. What's in my group? You bet me. Listen it? close. Well, you should remember this next part. Wait. Why go to Prosper Bluff? Oh, are you ready, boys? Are you ready for that sweet, sweet voice over here? Let me get your ears ready. Used to take an enterprising man, poor plain old fool, to venture out that far. My experience.
The city was the most beautiful place in the world. We all knew that. So for now, I don't have yet a group. But ready, on the so other hand, me and Emo some and... folks just yearn to see the things they're told they can't. And that's why you go to Prosper Bluff, ain't it? But yeah, Minsk. I think, like, I try to think Barely about... Get here something he ain't heard in a long while. There he goes. How's it go again? Yes, I do have the old one, the also the one that is made on the Baldur's Gate 2 engine, the trilogy that has all three three games in it. Sword Coast, BG1, Sword Coast. And uh, BG2, but I mean I play a remaster. Yep. Musical sensation in that game. Big birdie. Well played. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I will be very thorough exploring everything 100%. Definitely. And um, in remaster, I think they added also a feature of like to highlight everything on the screen. And I mean, you can also press tab for this. So, same thing, I guess. Roll that bird. Yeah, I mean, without all the buffs. Especially a speed buff. I think I'll probably remove speed buff and then uh, we'll use the other three idols. Because I feel like speed buff is sometimes really breaking too many mechanics here. Like it makes it very hard by almost disabling the possibility to use the shield. And as soon as you get uh, overcrowded, you pretty much cannot do anything anymore. So that's the difficult part, I feel. Okay, so what's the... I 
I always thought that there is like an extra extra bit. This one probably brings me to somewhere to open the thing, right? Over there, I guess. But what's this place then here? Where does it bring me? Oh, that's gonna open that thing. Just a little bit of a secret over there. And we have a way open. Yeah, machete doesn't deal enough damage anymore. <laughs> machete, machete, machete. What was there then? Mm, how do I go there? Bams. That stinky onion. Okay, okay, I see now. The birdies. Let's eat some apples. Okay. Now, now there she is. There she is, Zia. Well, no point explaining what happens next, right? Suffice it to say, kid ain't coming home empty-handed. Ain't coming home. With his hidebound journal. A worn book, handwritten in the traditional Ura script, amid the scrawled notes, the book contains various indecipherable scientific diagrams, drawings, and mathematical formula. Some kind of journal. And besides, it's like the song goes. Come build that wall until it's done. Come build that wall until it's done. But now you've got nowhere to run. agreed to return to the bastion we darn near celebrated when the kid got back didn't we Zolf never thought he'd see a fellow her again we become fast friends calamity has that effect on people but there was more to be done there was one last core to find all right, let's talk. Zia, hello. Talk to Zia about the ancient spices from the melting pot. Eating this stuff was like a rite of passage in the city. Did the Ura like it? Most of the Ura never got a taste of Ceylandia's fine goods. Unless they were born and raised in the city like Zia here. Right. <clears throat> so the Ura people seemed like to be a little bit on the outskirts after the war and everything. 
much much to see beyond the bastion, but maybe you'll find sure, something. Sure, the world's all gone to pieces farther than the eye can see. But leave it to this gal to point out the amazing view. Right. And what about the marshal's badge? Did they ever give her trouble? She seems to be worried whenever she sees the badge. Girl tried to run away from home one time, but the marshal stopped that, didn't they? Traditional or a script was outlawed in the city. Is this your handwriting? So many secrets in there and she can't even read it. Her father's own journal. Mm. All right. Okay. Okay, let's talk to Rooks about the journal. Can you read any of these? Do these charts and formulas mean anything to you? If only I'd known half the secrets of the calamity were tucked away in that book. I'd have worked to translate it right away. Hmm. And what about Zul? If it's written in Nura, he's supposed to be able to read it, no? What do you make of these drawings and diagrams? Isn't this written in your native language? A scientific journal written in Zulf's native tongue. He learned so much from it. Too much. Too much. Right. Kids surprised when I tell him there's only one core left. I shouldn't have believed it either. Look at us! This place looks already much more inhabitant than it was in the beginning. Alright, let's build the memorial. An accessory testament to the calamity. By paying tribute to the past, one may better prepare for the future. New vigils available. Alright, let's take a look. Looks super cool. Such a nice design. The memorial. Here, kid can pay respect to the old world and earn it in kind. Hmm. Okay, so what do we have here? The valediction. So many interesting words that I don't know. Construct a memorial to Kaelon, dear. Right. Okay, so and for the that, valediction. The reward. Just another one of my sketches. Nothing more. Hmm. The dynasty. Earn first prize in the required number of proving grounds. <laughs> That's the hard one. Ay, the stupid shield. <clears throat> the shield one is really tough. There is no place for mistake. This one, discover the lost mementos. Okay, so we need to find more of uh, those memorable objects. The service. Learn the secret skills. 20 of them, okay. Country. Find 13,000 pieces. Oof. Okay, we're only halfway through. Mercy. Defeat your required number of different species of beasts. Right, also just a little bit less than halfway through. <clears throat> Deliver a single crushing blow to a four. Oh, for at least 70 damage. Wow, alright, I know how to do it. Three foes with a single well-timed power shot, right? Defeat a hardy foe with a last bolt in the clip. Wow, that's... That's, yeah, something. Mm-hmm. Okay. And quickly strike foes 15 times in a row without missing. Oof. Didn't we... Ah, well, we... I thought we did it when we did the, the challenge ground. Ten or more foes in a single well-placed shot. All right. Words okay. can't express what happened, but they're all I got. Let's change things here. We don't need... Um, damage when counter-blocking, I guess. Uh, Let's do the hearty punch that helps because it pretty much kills everything around that killed you. So in situations like we were, this would have really helped a lot. This is still useful. Okay, so hearty punch is so zesty. Let's go. It'll let you Let's carry on. on through the worst of times. Trying. Well. Uh. Okay, let's 
still go like this. Again, if we give like three, four tries to to one level and we cannot do it, then we do it without it, I guess. That we don't have anything to use, and this is for the bow. Mm. Right, let's get. It. Let's see what we can upgrade. And then we will also go to here, to the pipe, before we continue. Mm. That I don't want for now. Draw speed, which will be very helpful, I feel like. Damage over time. His yeah, bow's looking lean speed. and mean like a <clears throat> prize fighter. That's going to be useful, definitely. Right. Poor kid collapses after just one drag. <laughs> Poor kid. The past. Only good thing ever come out of the past is history. Interesting. Alright, so this is the challenge ground with four idols. Let's see how it goes. The key is to roll a lot. <laughs> key to survive. What? The past catches up with the kid. Hardly had a moment's rest since all this started. Waves, but it's not little. Unfortunately, <laughs> I think it's 10 or 15 waves that we need to defeat. Pretty tough. Fair to say he's led a hard life. Supposing what he says in his sleep ain't no lie. What was I saying? Anyway. Yikes. <clears throat> the best time, let's see. He never knew his old man, but he had his mama to take care of. Frail thing with pure white hair like his. his mama's hair to the kid no favors while he was growing up but he learned to hold his own out there yeah, that's easy shouldn't lose any health here or anything school ain't working out so the kid signs up for a turn on the rippling walls Make his mama some money.
Oh man, stop collecting them. Thanks to folks like the kid, the walls kept Ceylonia safe from whatever's out there. So he went the to, elements, to the walls the to era, actually, you name it, earn some money and protect people, and then calamity happened. No. Once a kid done his time, he hurried on home. Turns out his mama's time was done too. Right. He came home and he, his mom was already not there. Boy, boy. He didn't know what to do after that. See that hole over there. It's invisible. And this dude definitely has too much life. The city had nothing for him. The money he'd been sending home was nowhere to be found either. Right. Oh. Wait, where was I? Damn it! Those holes. History of Zealandia. Nobody has ever volunteered for a second shift on the walls. So he went to the walls to this service twice, apparently, and nobody ever did it before. This kid is not an easy one, apparently. Not a soft one. How there, kid learn to fend for himself, learn to build, learn to break. Nope. Holy! Don't die! Don't die! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! That's, that's disgusting. Of mobs here. We have no chance of mistake. So let's play it safe, please. Mm, stupid hole. <laughs> Time the kid earned good standing with the marshals. 
They trusted him to scout out farther than anybody. Not even the end. And I don't, I don't have any, any more health potions. shuddered, cracked, and split apart. Oh my, I feel like we're not gonna make it from the first try. Nothing. Well, Health potions, healing, the I need healing, please. Just like that. <laughs> oh no. These dudes? Really? And these? Shotgunning? Oh my. No mercy for the little kid. Has right. no matter for nothing. Without idols, there's something you should know about the kid, but let me take it from to the make top. it a little bit faster. It's gonna take ages otherwise. These challenges we face are really, really difficult with all the idols. So, like, one I couldn't beat, the second one I couldn't beat with all the idols. This one I could, but it like takes me multiple tries. I also feel like Machete is absolutely useless here. I better have Musket as a uh, one weapon for like all the little things. The past and then Bow the or Hardly had a moment's rest as a second weapon. Oof. Wasn't even the end. Uh, in Fair the to end. say well, you led a hard life. Supposing what he says in this sleep that, uh, ain't no Basically, lie. the guy explaining the story of our boy, of our kid, who he was, what he learned, where he became, who he is. On the walls, there are this like certain kind of service they do. He never knew his old man, but he had his mama to take care of. Frail thing with pure white hair like his. Yep. Huh? <laughs> Did 
something. Completed something somehow. I don't know. <laughs> Having his mama's hair did the kid no favors while he was growing up. But he learned to hold his own out there. School ain't working out, so the kid signs up for a turn on the rippling walls. Make his mama some money. Thanks to folks like the kid, Phew. the walls kept Zelandia safe from whatever's out there. The elements, the aura, you name it. Yep. So they were fighting against different things in that world. Whatever was there, they were protecting. And he was there, went to the walls twice. And the marshals were believing him. Once the kid him. done his time, he hurried on home. Turns out his mama's time was done too. City had nothing for him. The money he'd been sending home was nowhere to be found, neither. These dudes are still hitting really hard, even without everything. So, what like the they kid do? Five. Why he went right on back to the walls for another five years. Another five years. He's not that small, apparently. Ooh. He's actually damaging them too, I didn't know. I never noticed. In, In the, the history of Ceylandia, nobody has ever volunteered for a second shift on the walls. Nobody? Wow. The kid is stronger than, Sam, than Chuck Norris himself, apparently. <clears throat> I also need to look oh, at my keyboard and I might need to replace himself. it already. <laughs> Learn to build. Doesn't Learn to break. Like the space bar always works. This is how it's supposed to be. I guess again, like I just needed a little bit of a practice. I just needed In to time, believe in myself, and then I could do it. You supposed to break those bosses before? Farther than anybody. So make make your life easier, just to break things. Although they, yeah, they are resisting. They are resisting the damage because of one of the idols. So that's probably. Makes it harder to deal with them, or you just need better upgrades or a better weapon. One night, on one of his expeditions, the ground beneath him shuddered, cracked, and split apart. Alright, seven reflections remain, okay. Alright, so he ventured really far, and at one night, out of nowhere, the ground just started to shatter and break underneath him, so this is probably the beginning of a calamity. So they explain how he ended up stranding, flying stranded on this uh, piece of rock. He saw Actually. nothing where the world used to be. The calamity happened just, just like, like that. that. So this is... Is this the one where we stopped last time? All like. the kid had to work with was his hammer and the clothes on his back. Mm, not 
true. I think we were somewhere here. Or like past here. Through twisted streets, he ran with nothing but the city crest and an old stranger's voice to guide him. Right. I thought we finished this wave too. Maybe we did. Well, we finally arrived at Ceylandia's vaunted safe haven. He and no one else. Ceylandia. So they do say Ceylandia, not Ceylandia. Thankless work from a man who ain't even asked his name. Two waves remain. And almost no floor to kite. <laughs> Dreamt up the walls and the bastion, but the kid made him real, not me. Right, he's talking about himself now. say I'll never forget him or what he's doing what he's done I surely would noise all right much easier without idols so mm, where do we go now oh, yeah that's it so basically you can farm those pieces over there you want to? He ain't Sandia. all that shy. Nothing. Let's go check if we can improve something. More damage here. Letting go of his old friend with a sturdy grip like that. Uh, anything new? Nope. Alright, let's activate idols and go on until we cannot. <laughs> we track the final core beyond the city to the wilds. Alright, before actually going to the wilds, let's do the musket and the hammer challenge. Ceylonia's marshals fine-tune their muskets and plan their patrols here. That's Zolwood Grove, a nice quiet place to show a musket a good time. Alright, let's give it a go. Ever felt a Zolwood gourd like picking up broken glass barehanded? As all would grow, marshals learn to make every shot count. Right. 
destroy all targets in a few the shots. The trick was to pop all those nasty gourds without wasting ammo. Mm -hmm. Most marshals didn't get far on the first few tries. Mm -hmm. So we need to get them all out uh, in a few shots. I don't remember the amount of shots. Not too many Had though. To catch a bunch of those gourds in a single oh, shot. that's a bad one. That's a very bad one. Funny thing about muskets is they work best up close. Best of the best to clear the course. In First prize? Shots. What? <laughs> Easy. Alright. That one was no challenge for a fine musketer like me. Alright, something coarse, something foul, and scrap salvo. Oh, that's kind of a. That's a super skill. Alright, let's go back. Let's check it out really quick. Kid probably could have made himself marshal one day. Right, 100% a marshal right here. Uh, what did we find? A couple of upgrades and also the super skill. So what is that one? Scrap Salvo. A relentless series of blasts that overcompensates for the musket's slow rate of fire. Only once did the marshals resort to this technique in the days following the war. Right, that's like multiple shots, I think. Um, let's maybe try going with uh, musket right now, and uh, no, not really. Let's go here with a musket, and here with a bow. That's very interesting, right? Should we do dancing shot, grenade, or this, or maybe this. This will not deal damage, so probably not. Let's do this one. Dancing shot, I forgot. What does it do? To bounce from target to target? Nah. One target damage we need. A bow ain't much good in the crowd, but a musket sure is. Hell yeah. You understand it right. <laughs> Oh, and we have now more stuff to upgrade here, right? The knockback. Greater knockback and 15% damage. I see, so we can narrow it down, increase the range and increase damage of some sort. I don't think that's a good use of a musket. Alright. Now again, another sweaty, sweaty challenge over here with the, the scrapyard proving ground. Those looking for an honest day's hard labor were always welcome here. That's a scrapyard where folks got to smash things and call it community service. Exactly. Let's smash things and call it community service. Okay, and this one is... <clears throat> the city's unwanted things all met their end in the yard. This is a funny one, actually. Also folks difficult. Folks fouled up will do their time here. Smashing things to bits. Yep. Quickly destroy a hundred objects. Ah, already? Okay. Alright. Let's do it. The quicker they worked, the sooner they could go. Folks learn to plant their feet and put their backs into it. Others would plot a course to navigate that sea of junk. No. <laughs> a good 
they smashed the family for a week. Uh, 28 seconds for the first prize. 27 even. Oof. We are three seconds behind. Yikes. Where did we miss stuff? Over here, not much, but we were probably a little bit slow. You could kill things with a uh, tumble instead of actually hitting all of them. All right, let's let's give it another try. This Kid one is pays another easy. visit to the scrapyard right, right. for old times' sake. I wish we could skip all of that and just restart really a little bit quicker than that. Worked too slow, and all you got was a sore back. It's very bad already. Why we keep smashing? Some folks invested their earnings to forge even better hammers. All right, let's restart. Yikes! I remember that one also. It was very, very difficult. Harder than Cookie Clicker. Always plenty there for smashing. No. Wow. And we missed a lot since like one. Here I think I spent quite a lot of time. Three, Had to five. work real fast for the finest prize. <clears throat> Cookie clicker is hard, yes. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's give it another try, otherwise we can leave it for tomorrow. When you're fresh, some of these challenges are really hard when you are already... ...slightly tired. Only had that whirlwind? True. 100%. That would have helped. No, man. 30 seconds still. Mm, maybe you need upgrades here, to be honest. I am not sure if it works without upgrades, honestly. That seems Ever like... want to just smash things for a while? You know where to go. Right. 10% just by better skill? Mm, I don't think it works. I don't think it works like this. Alright, let's go then to the, to the final core. An expeditory team aimed to use it to tame these lands, but went missing. The wild outskirts. That's the edge of the wilds, where Jawson and his boys disappeared. Jawson? <clears throat> the wild unknown place can eat a man alive. Places so raw, even the calamity couldn't cook it. Not all of it. Mm. Okay. Oh no. No, what's better than having a slinger pistol in a fight? Having two. Right, having two useless pistols, exactly. Kiss faster than a slinger with those guns. Right. That's gonna take a while until we find out how we can change. They don't deal with damage. Incursions ain't the worst of it either. The wilds. With all the idols, it's disgustingly hard to damage enough with these pistols without any upgrades. And the musket is also not so much use for us. 
good thing pin cushions can't see where they're shooting. What the drag bullshit him down. does? <laughs> this freaking bird. Just go through your defenses and basically deal with it. Right, Pegger's got the core, here. like they're building a bastion of their own. The welcoming committee scrambles to attention. I already Demons forgot that. Kid so soon. The pistol is absolutely useless here. I don't know how they define that it's a good weapon here. <laughs> Honestly. They shouldn't have let the guard down. Right. Getting that core was one thing. Getting out's gonna be another. He digs his way out of the clearing, but the wilds won't let him go without a fight. All right, let's see. They also took away our special. Wallflowers survived the calamity. It toughened them up. Oh, man. Another perfect enemy for our weapons. Jawson's old outpost is right. all that's left. I'm doing pistols. Without anything else. Let me check. Breaker's bow. And single target damage, yes. Kid sticks to his old standbys. Massive difference. 50 damage, 16. Wait. Ooh, she's going to what? A handful of windbag shipments made it out this far. What? I thought they're gonna help me. <laughs> and they don't. Kids seen the last of them. Man. And that, that's for the pistols. What is this shit? Don't ever turn your Who's back there? on the pin cushion. More of the birdie boys. Kids roused shot. up half the wild by now. Careful. I forget that I am already with the, with the idols and that I should really not take any damage. It's over 
here. Then Kid gets the feeling he's being watched. Hmm. Not by me, by a lunkhead. <gasps> and lunkheads ain't fond of two-legged animals. All right. I feel like I'm playing Dark Souls or something. And I did die. Sweet. Finally. Oh man. Ooh. He's anxious to get back. The wilds already reclaimed this place. Some more stuff, upgrades. Alright. Okay, let's check around. Seems like I missed a couple of places here. Maybe we find something more. Wild green vine apples, about the only good thing out here. Wild green vine apple? It's good. <clears throat> Hardly any signs of the old Jawson camp. Hmm. I'm not surprised that Mr. Johnson Jawson disappeared here. Of all the rats and all these wild folk. Joss's boys left all kinds of stuff out here. Final core. His journey's over, right? Well, no, it ain't. Not it by ain't. a long shot. Not by a long shot. Zia shares Zeus' or ethnicity, and like him, she was born and raised in Ceylondia. Kid uh, knows something's up when we ain't there to give a warm welcome. See, Zolf and I were just wrapping up a heated discussion. Zolf can barely muster the words. The calamity failed, he says. But I will not. And with that, Zolf leaves us here, alone. What happened? And of course they broke the monument. Damn it. The evidence of Zeus' rage against the Bastion. Something brought out a flash of violence in the man. He attacked Rooks and severely damaged the monument. Then flat in anger right so something went wrong over here let's talk about it are you hurt what happened Zulf back cursed here? the city cursed the bastion cursed me said he was going home hmm. when Zolf got through reading that journal he just snapped started smashing up the monument till I tried to stop him all right so there was something in this journal that he was the only person able to read. Quickly strike foes 15 times in a row without missing. The Gravers, the Arm of Justice, they seemed unstoppable. 
What do we need to do now? Zolf banged up the monument pretty bad. But there's a way to put it back together. The shards. The shards, of course. Oh, We're gonna course. need all of them to nurse the Bastion back to health. Mm-hmm. Alright. Uh, wait. Let's check the... Uh, no, the forge. Maybe we can upgrade our musket as well. Yep, we can. More damage, more knockback. Um, the marshals damage. learn to pack those shells full of fire. Reduced penalty to long range damage, faster reload. Okay, so that on the right side is completely built for just knocking back things and kind of blocking them. But in our case, it's not so useful because everything is super fast. So maybe, maybe, I even think switching back here. Just to have a bit more damage against anything, we, we need more damage most of the time. No, more damage feels better. And the pistols, more ammo capacity, bullets cutter eliminated, right? And then something else mm, doesn't sound too good. And I guess we will need this uh, improvement, 50% more damage to actually manage the, the proving ground, otherwise it's probably impossible to, to do it. Although you can also build like a critical hit stuff here. Focus attack is good as well, but I feel like in our case using shield is not very useful. We need to dodge mostly. Right. Okay. Let's take a look what we have. Because I was thinking. The maybe city already brought the shards to the wilds. Now the kid's gonna bring them back. Alright, Jolson Bog. Okay. I remember this is quite a long one, to be honest. Let's then probably finish off on this one, finish up, and we will continue tomorrow. So I will try to stream these days, most of the days, uh, tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, maybe a little bit late. Um, that's still a bit of a question, but there, there is something to do in the afternoon. So tomorrow, hopefully, uh, we'll try to finish the game. I mean, it's not that long, so we need to find shards. I guess that's it. But we should be able to. And Thursday, we might start a new one. So let's see. Let's see how it goes. Otherwise, yeah, I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed the, the Bastion. And if you didn't know the game, I hope you just, you know, like what you saw and enjoy the gameplay. Also, me going easy road <laughs> with every hard challenge it was hard though it was hard don't think it was easy like especially that uh, level on the floating thing with basically things one two shotting me that was really difficult so yeah thank you thank you yeah and we'll continue tomorrow i will make the announcement probably a little bit early i'm thinking about like 5 p.m ct so so that we have a little bit more time to finish it up before like 10 11 uh, p.m and i'll talk to you on discord and yeah thank you for watching and see you next time goodbye and good night everybody